Here are 10 mega tips every beginner should know when playing Rainbow Six Mobile. Number 1. Learn the maps ASAP. This is literally the biggest thing that will either help you win games or lose games. I promise you now guys, each map is literally designed to confuse players. So even if you have godly aim, someone with a terrible aim could know the map really well and kill you easily. It will be incredibly easy to get lost in any of the maps. So pay close attention to each map's layout when playing games and don't just focus on getting kills. Number 2. This game will rely not only on standard tactics and gun skills but also creativity. For example, I am playing Thermite here who is a breacher operator. The enemies are in the room opposite side of this wall. I also know that there's a doorway on the other side so I plant my breach and make my way around the hall. When I'm ready, I pop the wall to create a distraction. Because of this, the enemy thought I'll be shooting or going through the wall and just like that I take him out swiftly. Number 3. Rainbow Six Mobile is heavily reliant on angles, positions and rotations. Once you've learned the maps, you will have plenty of ways to kill enemies without ever being seen. Honestly, one of the best ways to learn about angles and positions would be to literally get killed from them. Let's take a look at this breach play again. This beautiful play is about to be ruined. I dropped on more. Oh, oh, oh nice fire. Oh shoot. Just like a reaction fire There's one here, bro. There's one you're in the container, hold the position, enemies are trying to take back your container. Nice, nice, if you can get me, you can get the res. Oh, he's right here, right here. I tried to mark you, but I jumped. He's where you killed the first one, the last one right there. Oh no, they have cams on you. That's annoying, bro. Oof, someone was literally laying on their back, holding a crazy angle that I could barely see. Look, there will be a lot of many great players out there that will spend so much time just running around the map and trying different angles out. They're literally doing the work for you. So when you see what they do on a kill cam, take note. Team Deathmatch. In Rainbow Six Mobile, we have Team Deathmatch game mode. This mode is absolutely fantastic for building your sensitivity and muscle memory for your HUD controls. As a starter, I suggest spamming TDM every day for like an hour every day as this will help you move around efficiently, build a fast reaction time, headshot training and even weapon build testing. Please guys, take advantage of this game mode. Number 5. Team composition and operator synergy. Each operator is unique and have specific roles and ways of playing them. Thermite is great for breaching and closing gaps while Valkyrie is great for gathering enemy intel. But that doesn't end there. Certain operators work really well together and should be used to your advantage. For example, Thatcher's ability allows him to throw an EMP grenade that can disable electronic and remotely triggered gadgets. As shown in the ability demo here, this reinforced wall has bandit shockwire ability behind it, so breaches like Thermite can't use his ability to breach the wall. Thatcher can throw his EMP grenade to disable bandit's ability, allowing Thermite to breach the wall with his ability. EMP grenade also works against Jaeger's trophy system, which destroys projectiles like grenades and security cameras. Great for pushing heavily fortified rooms. Number 6. Play every single operator. I highly recommend you to play each operator because this will not only help you find your main operator that you'll marry and play with a lot, this will also help you understand who you'll be up against when they're on the enemy team. For example, if the enemy team has a capcan, I would be very cautious when breaching windows and doorways. This could get you killed and even if you survive, your position is compromised as the enemy team is alerted about a trap getting triggered. You could even get wiped costing you the round or the entire match. Number 6. Seven. Learn map location names for callouts. Learning map location names, also known as points of interest, can help decide not just to win or lose a gunfight, but also the entire game. Look at this video right here. I take two people down, we're close to winning the game. My teammate calls out he's at the bar, but I had no idea where the bar was. He's still behind the bar. He's still right. behind the bar. I see him. See left. See left. Look left. Look left. Right there. Roger, Roger. Calm down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna breach. I'm gonna breach, and then I'm gonna need you to push here. Yeah? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, you're dead. Oh, nah, that's coming. You're with the random. You're with the random. What? On your left. On your left. What? 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 The enemy managed to kill me because I didn't know where he was. This was actually an insanely intense game that would have been a great win. But my lack of knowledge cost us the game. Number 8. 
practice headshots. Headshots in any shooters is the fastest way to kill someone. This is no different in Rainbow Six Mobile. Headshots in this game can drop enemies so fast they won't even have time to react. Practicing headshots early will seriously give you a massive advantage over players that always focus chest. Number 9. Patience. Patience is gonna be your best friend in Rainbow Six Mobile. It's not exactly the slowest game in the world, but there will often be times where you'll need to hold a spot for a very long time and wait for the right moment to strike. Sometimes you'll even find players in the enemy team whose playstyle you know very well. So if I get in a defense situation with them where it's a 1v1 for the win and I know the last guy is aggressive and always the one that likes to make the first move, I'll play time and wait for them to push and make a mistake. And last but not the least, number 10, always stay alert. This game may be heavy on the tactical side of things, but make no mistake, a calm situation can turn insanely chaotic in the blink of an eye, especially when attackers are running out of time. Stay highly alert for all possible plays. Enemies might just be planning something very quietly on the opposite side of the wall. When all hell breaks loose, you want to be in a position to either kill on site or escape safely. Your guide master iStream is here reporting for duty. Stay tuned for my epic in-depth guides on operators, maps, tactics and more. Peace.